everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's that time again. Time for me to take up a champion to rank five. There's a level up event going on right now. The final event was not an advancement, so I'm free to rank up whoever I can. Now, I just completed variant six and I've explored one chapter. So I have a rank three to four gem that I can only use on champions that are 2017 and earlier. So that's why I have this chart up so that you guys can see the champions that are available. But I have sort of a problem. Most of the good champions are already rank four or five, but there are a few that are still uh, worth taking up with uh, this gem. Now, I only have one gem because I only completed one chapter and I will get two more. So I had to decide who I wanted to take up. Now, uh, I haven't shown you this yet because I don't want to spoil it, but I opened up my uh, four to five rank up gem crystal. And that kind of decided me on who I was going to take up. All right. So if you don't want it spoiled, uh, pause the video now and leave a comment below. But it is going to be my boy Wolverine. So you can see I have one rank up gem, three to four. And the four to five uh, rank up gem that I got was mutant. So here's the thing. Of the five stars, there's only two mutants that I don't have that I would even want right now that are available anyway. Not Weapon X. I don't have a Weapon X. Would love to get him. But of the ones that are available, Namor and Apocalypse. And Apocalypse is not in the basics yet, uh, as far as I know. And by the time he comes to the basics and I get him, I'll have the resources to take him up. As you can see, I have a uh, tier four mutant catalyst. So Namor, at this point, I don't want Namor as much as I used to. If I get him, great. If not, doesn't matter. Apocalypse, I do want. So that leaves really... Wolverine. Now, there's some others that I could have used this three to four on. Gambit, for example, he just got a rework and he's pretty good. Um, but I do get two more. So one of these is going to be used on Wolverine. So without further ado, let's do it. And that is Wolverine to rank four. And as you know, we're not done. All right, so while I am ranking up Wolverine the rest of the way, I wanted to give you a little bit of background on me and Wolverine. So growing up, I had three Marvel characters that I loved the most. Hulk being the number one, followed by Wolverine and Spider-Man. I read their comics, I collected their comics, I followed Wolverine even after he had his adamantium ripped out of him by Magneto and they made a Wolverine solo comic. I got that one as well. So when I first started playing Marvel Contest of Champions, of course I wanted these characters. And when I got the four star Wolverine, I was ecstatic. I loved it. He was quickly my favorite. I didn't care that he didn't do a ton of damage. It was Wolverine. And I used him in AQ all the time. In fact, I did not replace him until I had a four-star Blade, Ghost Rider, and Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Ghost Rider took the place of the sustainability and item saver, as well as Blade, of course, with his sustainability. But that is my little history of Wolverine. When I saw he was available as a five-star, 
and then I got him as a featured five star, I had just as much joy as when I pulled that four star years ago. All right, so let's get back to it. All right, so that is the Wolverine rank up. Let's find him. Here we go. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And let's take a look at his stats here. Uh, honestly, not that impressive. But when we finally get Apocalypse as a five or a six star, we're going to be able to make Wolverine a horseman, and he is one of the better horsemen. Uh, I heard Cable is insane as well, uh, but those two seem to be the top horsemen uh, to make with Apocalypse. All right, so let's uh, take him really quick into uh, Realm of Legends, and we're not going to expect... Uh, a lot of damage from him. Let's see, grab over there. Uh, he wasn't really known for high, high damage. And without him being a horseman, he's not going to likely be all that impressive. But we will bring him in and we'll give him... And we'll throw in some synergies here. And over there. And uh, these aren't necessarily the best synergies to, to bring in. Let's see here. And we'll just grab you as well. So just throwing in some synergies. Uh, just so we can kind of get a, a feel for his uh, damage with the synergies. I am running suicides as well. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see what he looks like. And I remember not really liking uh, to play him because of his low damage. I actually brought the four star in here. Oh, come on now. Uh, I brought the four star in here and it made these fights just so long. But he was rather safe. All right, we're gonna fire up that special two. Now, you don't wanna use your specials a lot if you want to get the most regen. The higher your power meter, the better your regen is. All right, but I'm not worried about that. Let's fire off that special three so you guys can see the special three. Hmm, that just look ugly. And that puts a bleed on him. All right, it's getting good crits. And if you saw two regens, that is his normal regen, as well as his signature regen. The regen he gets from his signature ability is a crazy strong one. Let's fire that off. Hmm. Not bad, not bad at all. And I could just imagine what he looks like as a horseman. Not bad at all. And see that regen? It's uh, I think that was the normal regen there. Okay, come on. Let's get another special two off. And look at that, he's got another regen. So he's not losing a lot of health, even though I'm running suicides. And that's it. That is the fight over. Not bad. Not bad at all, all right? Um, he's not known for a lot of damage, but he did pretty good there. And even though I was running suicides and taking recoil damage, because he can heal up, he's somewhat suicide friendly. 
He's not bleed immune. He's not poison immune, but he can heal up. So I consider him somewhat suicide friendly for that fact alone. We got Winter Soldier down, 113 hits. It did not take too long. And his health was almost topped off. And if I wanted to, I could have stayed at uh, special, uh, special three ready, I guess, uh, three bars of power. And I could have regened all the way back up to full. Okay. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.